Hello everyone, it's Gwethorn from Gwethorn's Games and I'm going to do today the easy to play Guardian. And I thought the easiest way to show what a Guardian can do is to be running Attack at Dawn, which is a skirmish at uh, on level. So I'll just start it up now. Now I thought that uh, because it shows it reasonably well, I'm not going to bring in the, uh, the soldier. I'm just going to be running it on its own and we'll go for it. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. So, it cleans it up reasonably well. Everything comes in, everything gets taken out. Uh, there's a warg left. Well, I'll get that warg fairly quickly. It's gone. So, as you can see, the... Uh, it is running reasonably quickly. I actually forgot to take that. Well, I will. Which is always the way. So, uh, I'll, I'll just do a little bit more with it. You can see I'm using two-handed sword. Uh, two-handed axe in actual fact. Um, but I'll just do the next round and then that should show you. So, I'm actually running it from one rather than the normal four which I normally do it but hey okay always the way it's done let's go into it okay all gone oops I get out of the way of that so those that haven't done this, the uh, Attack at Dawn, I'd, it'd be a completely different video on Attack at Dawn. I'll give myself some healing. And because of the way that the champion's built, you just go for the first one. Okay, took it out. Next. Get out of the way of that. Okay, and we have something left at range, which is always the way, but it won't take long. Okay, so that's cleared. There's a second second wave coming. It'll come from the bottom because of the way I cleared it. Uh, attack at dawn. If you don't, if you do both at the bottom, then uh, it's going to cause issues um, because some of the some of the characters don't come in. Some of the specials don't come in. So that's taken, that's gone. Okay, so you can see up here on the north, I actually got one of the one of these to arrive, and that was because I didn't take both of the one both of the gates down the bottom first. If you take both gates down the bottom, you will never get it. Okay, so, but now that I've finished this... Okay, so they did all of the, they did all of the skirmish deeds, so it did the deed. Which was what, what I was talking about. So I actually got the deed, because I did... Uh, this character finished all of them. So I'll get out of the way of all of this, and then I'll show you what the build is. Okay. Okay, so I'm running with uh, the aggressive version of the level 50 gear made by the armorer. I've got some some gear from uh, skirmish camps. I've got some gear from the the uh, jewel maker. The okay, so but. 
I'm using the parry response damage because this creates a parry response. Whirling retaliation uses the parry response. The sweeping cut also uses it. Well, it doesn't actually, but overwhelm requires it as well. And then I've got to the king. So, and I've also got over here the whirling retaliation damage and sweeping cut damage. So, start the parry response, use the whirling retaliation, use sweeping cut. You can see the sweeping cut does some damage over time. And the reason it does damage over time is because I'm running a red line guardian, even though I'm using a two handed axe which gets rid of the ability to use defend, to, to use block, but what I get here is from broad strokes, a 100% chance for it to cause bleeding and with two extra targets, which is my third attack, which does good damage, but it also does bleeds. Then I have overwhelm for anything left after two area of attacks, which does great damage, uh, four and a half to 6,000, and what it also does is upgrades any deep wounds into a terrible wound. So this does the deep wounds, that makes them terrible. And for the king is just an extra extra damage that I do. Then I've got Brutal Assault. So because I'm running Brutal Assault, Brutal Assault with these extras uh, gives me some extra damage over time as well as damage. So. I'll run through it again. So I am going into a, just starting attack with anyone, anything that comes up. Start the parry response. Get the whirling attack. Get the second area of attack. Increase the bleed on whatever that is. To the king, and then brutal assault. Start through again if you need to. Okay, all very quick. Nice DPS. But that's that's the build. I'll actually go through the the end of this um, again. Take whatever's closest because you're doing a parry response first. That opens up whirling retaliation. That opens up sweeping cut. That opens up overwhelm for anything that's left. And then you go back to the beginning if you need to. Swirling blades. The retaliation that is okay and they're gone now there is a uh, you can build a sword and board uh, axe and board combination for the guardian so you get your blocks in if you do then uh, you'll be going shield blow shield swipe bash and you can also get traceries for shield damage as well as your extra attack damage from shield based attacks so i'll just finish this off as i said i still haven't still haven't bring the brought the soldier in don't need it just showing you what this does let's go in oh, i don't think i'll get the time to eat that but Maybe I will. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay. Single attack, parry start. Whirling retaliation. Swirling. Yep, all gone. Here come the others. Whirling retaliation. And the extra bleed over time from that. And then we just go in and we'll finish this. Parry response, work in retaliation, sweeping cut, overwhelm, and finish it off. Okay, I've got an extra heal here if I need it. Warrior's heart just gives me back the morale. So I've got that in the queue just in the, as a key as possible for, for using, but don't really need it. Doing this on level uh, is is fairly straightforward. I I could do a much harder uh, version of it with the sword and board that is more uh, sustains itself a lot better. But that's really all you need 
to be able to run a Guardian. Easy to play, on level, sword and board it if you want to uh, give yourself so the block ratings and the block attacks and traceries to match. But I'll do that maybe in, a, in another video. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. Bye.